Ask yourself, when it comes to creating digital twins, how important is accurate LiDAR colorization? There are a variety of methods available, some giving you better results than others. In this video, we will show you the best method for colorizing your LiDAR and what to watch out for, so stay tuned. There are a few types of LiDAR colorization methods available on the market, with two common techniques being, one, color draping from ortho mosaics, and two, ray tracing techniques to project color from uncorrected photos. It's important to understand the options available on the market so you can choose the right tool for your project needs. In less than five minutes, we're going to show you how these methods work, the differences in colorization results, and show you the best tool to get the most accurate colorization results for your next LiDAR project. If you would like to chat with one of our experts and learn more about our colorization tools, we'll leave a link in the description for you to do so. Also, if you learned something from this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel. Let's get started with how these methods work. Before we jump into color draping, let's begin by defining the term ortho mosaic. This is an ortho mosaic. Put simply, it is like Google Earth, a large high quality image product made by combining many smaller images called ortho photos. Each true ortho photo is geometrically corrected such that the scale is uniform. This creates a perfectly straight down view of all objects in the frames. Notice how you can't see the sides of the buildings in this example. True orthos are different from regular aerial images, which are uncorrected for topographic relief, lens distortion, and camera tilt. So objects like buildings that stand out from the terrain are displayed tilted in the image, allowing you to see the sides of buildings and other vertical objects. Color draping is the method of using an ortho mosaic to colorize a LiDAR data set by draping it straight down over the LiDAR data below to project color onto the point cloud. The ray tracing method is different, enabling you to use uncorrected photos that do not have to be ortho rectified ahead of time. These can be nadir or oblique aerial photos, or even ground-based images from 360 degree cameras. This technique is a bit more complex though. You can think of the camera's position as the eye of the camera. Put simply, this technique traces a path from the eye of the camera through each pixel in the image plane to an intersecting point in the LiDAR point cloud. That LiDAR point is then colorized with the color corresponding to the image pixel along that traced path. Now, let's discuss the difference in these two methods results. As you can see here, one of the more common issues with UAV LiDAR point cloud colorization is the miscolorization of building facades and vertical features from the draping method. This is because the ortho mosaic that colorized the point cloud did not contain colors from the vertical aspects of structures, like building walls. Here you can also see miscolorization from above ground objects like awnings and trees projected onto the ground. Other objects, like this vehicle, can be colored incorrectly if the ortho mosaic was collected at a different time than the LiDAR data. With that said, LiDAR service providers can still benefit from color draping. Even if they don't have a camera integrated onto their LiDAR system, they can still colorize their point cloud from an ortho mosaic. The ray tracing method can colorize vertical features using multiple images, selecting images with the best angle and perspective to color the features. This enables better colorization on and under vertical structure without displaced above ground objects projected onto the ground. But some software options out there provide you with ray tracing tools with no color balancing capabilities, like this for example. For best results, it is important to choose a ray tracing tool that also provides proper color balancing and seam corrections, as you can see here. So what is the best tool to get the most accurate LiDAR colorization? For best results, use the ray tracing colorization tools built into Phoenix LiDAR Spatial Explorer and LiDAR Mill software. The benefit to the ray tracing method is that you get a more accurate colorization of all point cloud features and mitigate miscolorization from temporal changes. The Phoenix colorization tools even offer automated seam corrections and radiometric color balancing features for premium colorization results on every project. So to recap, there are many ways to colorize LiDAR and the question that you have to ask yourself is how important is colorization accuracy for your project? Some software options on the market only provide you with the ability to colorize using an ortho mosaic. This method leads to inaccurate colorization of vertical structure and displaced objects projected onto the ground. The ray tracing method does a better job of accurately colorizing vertical structure, but some software options out there provide you with ray tracing tools with no color balancing and seam corrections. 
For best results, use Phoenix LiDAR software, which offers the widest range of colorization options, including the highest fidelity ray tracing colorization tools with automated color balancing and seamline corrections. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.